In this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look at how we can create pages within our website. As you can see, I'm loaded into my administration and I'm looking at my dashboard, which gives us a quick overview of various different aspects of our site. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to create a simple page then we're going to take a look at how we can add into our navigation and in future videos we'll take a look at how we can create links, style our content, upload files and insert them into the pages and a lot more other things that you're going to do on a regular basis when working with your website. So let's start. If you take a look on the left hand side you can see we've got all the main areas that we can work with within our website. Now you may see additional features on here and you may see some things that won't be available on your installation. Don't worry too much about that because all the things we're going to cover in this video are going to be available to you on your website. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to Pages and we're going to click and create Add New. And that will take us into the basic overview of working with the pages inside our website. Now with your particular installation you may find you've got additional features and a, a range of additional options available to you and they will be covered in the training that you'll get with the uh, the new website. But for this we're going to go over the basic information you're going to need to work with every single page on your website. So let's crack on. You can see at the top we've got enter page title or enter title here. This is the first part and this is the important part for our page. This is where we're going to insert the actual information that's going to be used within our navigational structure and the title for our page. Below that you can see we've got our main editor area now if you don't see all of these icons, you've got the option to toggle the toolbar on and off, as you can see. So we can quickly and easily add extra functions available to us. And again, you may find that your installation, your particular website has extra features, but you will find all the ones we're going to cover in this particular tutorial are going to be available to you on every installation. Then if we take a look over the right hand side, we've got some information about the publishing status of this particular page. At the moment, we've got nothing on here, but we can save this out as a draft so we can come back and work on it at a later date without actually making it available on the website. We can publish it, we can make it private, or we can schedule when we want to publish it. Below that, we've got page attributes. That allows us to specify if this page is based inside a hierarchy, then we can specify which is going to be the parent, which are going to be the child pages. Below that we've got the order option so we can manually order these pages if we want to. And below that we've got the discussion options which allow us to specify whether we want to allow comments to be available on this page so people can leave feedback to the content that we've got available to us. And if we want to allow trackbacks and pingbacks. And that's effectively allowing other, page or other sites to link back to us in various different fashions. Finally we've got the featured image which depending upon the style and the feature set that you've got on your particular site may may work or may actually just be a feature that you don't need to work with. Again, we'll leave that for now. So let's start by creating the basic information we need for our first page. So the first thing we want to do is give this page a title. Now it's important that when you create your pages inside your website that you give them meaningful titles that relate to the content that's actually on the page. You can keep an abbreviated version or you can make this a sort of full width because we can tweak this in the actual menu structure on a page by page basis. So for this example we're just going to give this a simple title. And the next thing we're going to do is just input some content so we've got some text to work with on our page. So I'm just going to paste some basic filler text in and you can see that when we start typing and we scroll through and put a lot of information in, you can see that it automatically expands to compensate for the additional information so we don't need to worry too much about that. One thing I also want you to sort of draw your attention to is once we put a page title in it will automatically create what's called a permalink which is the URL or the specific identifying address we're going to use for this particular page. Now you can see by default it will use what we've got in the actual page title it may drop out some of the, the the sort of shorter words like of and things like that. But what you can do is you can make this a little bit more meaningful. So you can click edit and you can type in exactly what you want to put in there. So let's just try something a little different. There we go. Now you can see that instead of leaving a space between the word special and page, I've used the minus sign of the separator. 
We can use the minus sign or the underscore. Choice is entirely up to you. But you should always make sure that you leave out spaces. Always put a minus sign to separate it or the underscore. Once we're happy with that, we can click OK. And that updates it for us. And we can come back and edit that at any time. OK, next thing I want to do is I don't want discussions on this page. I don't want all other track back. So I'm just going to uncheck those options. I'm not going to parent this to anything and I'm not going to worry about the sort order. So once I put the, the basic information in there, I can now publish that page. So if I hit publish, that'll save the page for us and now make that available on the website. So there's the first page created. In the next step, we're going to take a look at how we can activate this inside the menu structure so we can control exactly where that page appears in our menu hierarchy on our website. So let's take a look at how we do that now. To access the menus, we simply go to Appearance on the left-hand side, down over to Menus, and that'll load up all the menus available to us on our website. So as you can see, we've got a simple menu structure of the home page and a previously created sample page. So what we want to do now is we want to specify exactly where in this hierarchy our new page appears. We can do that simply by going over to the Pages panel on the left-hand side, check in the new page we created, click Add to Menu. And what that'll do is that'll automatically add that to the bottom of our entire menu structure. Now that might be okay in some cases, but obviously we want to control that. And we can do that simply and quickly just by dragging and dropping this into the position that we want. So if I wanted this to come after the home page, I can just simply hold the mouse button down, drag it up. And as you can see, as we move it around, we get a little serrated box that tells us where that's going to be dropped in. Once I let go, that's already put that into place. And all we need to do now is click Save Menu and that's going to be added to our website. Now sometimes you want to create a layered menu structure. So let's say for example that this is a sample page, the one we've just created, should be a sub page of sample page. Well we can do that quickly and easily just simply by grabbing the page that we want, dragging it down and indenting it over slightly to the right hand side. And you can see the little serrated box now shows us an indented uh, position. That's telling it it's going to be a sub menu. So once we let go that now becomes a second level menu of sample page. Again, click Save Menu, that'll save that out for us. The third thing I want to take a look at, or the final thing I want to look at, is how we can rename this information. So when you're working with a complex website, you don't really have a lot of space to have long page names. So what we can do is we can abbreviate this simply for the menu structure. So if I expand this particular page structure, you can see it says navigation label and what it's done is it's picked up the same information as we gave on the page title. That's great. But let's just say we want to name that sample page 2. A little short, succinct, keeps the menu structure much simpler. We can save that out. Click the save option. That will now save that information and update it. So what we'll see on the menu structure is we'll have sample page 2 as opposed to this is a sample page. That's all there is to create in simple pages and adding a menu structure to control in exactly the way you want. I hope you find this useful and I'll see you again soon.